Welcome everyone. So I'd love to show you a short piriformis releasing flow. So that tightness that might be in kind of the deep center of your buttock and you might want to block for this. So if you have that, grab it. You could also improvise with a thick blanket for underneath your head. So have that handy. And then we're going to lie right down onto our back. And then I'm going to take that block or blanket, if you like, underneath the back of my head. So a foam block is nice. You can have that right there for a little bit of support. And I'm going to invite you to start by just closing your eyes and noticing what your body is saying to you. Noticing where there's discomfort, maybe relief, release. Just tuning in, taking this short amount of time to really tune in to your own self here. Listening. Great, and then we'll bring our right knee in towards our chest and hug that in and squeeze it in and I'm going to pulse it in in a way. And through this video, I'm going to be doing some oscillating movements. So instead of staying there, which you totally could do, but pulsing and this is giving the tissue an opportunity to loosen and it's also giving the nervous system an opportunity to sort of acclimatized to the sensation of stretch. So if there's pain and discomfort, sometimes this rocking motion can be really soothing for the body. You might hold it in there, you might circle through the knee, and you might also lengthen out your left leg. So nice. If you want this block out from underneath your head at any time, you can take it out. And maybe you're taking a big breath in here and exhaling through your mouth. You might squeeze that knee in towards your armpit for a breath, noticing any sensations there. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to let this left hand come to the outside of the knee and start to rock that knee across the body. So little gentle rocks, starting to open up the back side of your right hip. You can make those rocks circular or straight across and continue on with that if it feels soothing or take that knee across any amount. By no means does it have to come to the floor. And you can take your right hand into the top of that hip and encourage it away from your armpit, away from your right armpit, so little pulses. I'm kind of gripping onto the outside of my right knee here, pulsing away and then in towards lengthening at that whole right side of the waist out. Then I'm going to take my left knee up if it's not already and crisscross my right knee on top of my left. And now I'm going to go in the other direction, drop the knees over to the right and back up. So a little rocking motion, little lengthening action to the outside of your left hip. And then if you want to stay there, go ahead and stay. You can even open your arms on a big diagonal. Enjoy that. Bring it all the way back into the center and then I'm going to bring the knees in towards my body. So either interlock my hands around that top knee, the right knee, or one hand on opposite knees and start to pulse the knees in and away. So kind of pulling them in and away. You could also be doing this just on that top knee. Maybe even for some, walking the, the hands more towards the ankles and pulsing in and away. Maybe for some, staying there for a breath. Feeling where that stretch is directed. Follow the sensation. Maybe close your eyes. You're always welcome to exhale out of your mouth. And then release that a little so your left foot comes down to the floor. Take your right ankle on top of your left knee and use your right hand to push away. So you're rocking that thigh away from you so the knee moves away from the body and then in towards you. You might stay there kind of with the heel of your hand pushing that thigh away. Or you might bring your left leg in, interlock behind the hamstring or on top of the shin and wobble a little side to side. So noticing, 
sensation there in the outer right hip. Maybe drawing that left knee in towards the left armpit. Going to about 70% effort, so there's some room to really feel and your nervous system isn't going into panic. So it's like a good itch, just on that edge of sensation that's intense, but still manageable. And then you can let that whole unit come down. So left foot comes down to the floor and start to tip it back over to the left. So tip it, you can rock into this. Maybe you're feeling some sensations of length across the right side of the body. And maybe tip it all the way over. You can even hold it with your hand or tip it all the way over. And then you can use your right hand again to press that top of the right thigh away maybe pulsing into that. Anytime you wanna take the block out from underneath your head, I like it because it gives me a little bit of a curl through my spine and makes it a little more accessible to grab onto the legs. You might be finding that. Great, let's take this all the way back center. Release that right foot and gentle rocks with the knees side to side. Maybe just a little massage for the back of the pelvis. Land in the middle. <sighs> Exhale as long and deep as you like. And then take your left knee in. Hold on to it. You can also be holding on underneath the knee and rock it in and out. You can reach that right leg long. It'll add a little more to the stretch. You can circle through your left knee, feeling right into the center of your left hip joint. So I'm mentioning this video is like piriformis release, which is deep, deep um, towards the, the pelvis in the back of the hip. Um, but, this could be really relieving for the low back as well, for that whole low back area. Can let your right leg fully relax here. And then let's tr start to pulse across. So you can open up your left arm, bring it across, rocking it across. Noticing if that rocking movement is useful, if it feels like it's just gentle, soothing, um, a letting go action or you can take it right across and stay there if that is feeling better so you're maybe even taking your left hand into the top of the hip and pulsing that away pressing with the heel of your hand lengthening the whole side of your left waist and then we'll come a little bit back and bend your right knee so you're crisscrossing your knees and let's take it over to the left so we're rocking over to the left. There's an the elongation through the outer right hip. You can slow this down, speed it up. Maybe even close your eyes, use that long exhalation. And then let's, with our right knee, bring both knees in towards us so the feet are floating. So either holding on to that top knee or hands on opposite knees and you can pull in and away. Sometimes for some, there's a lot of tension in the inner thighs and the groin in this one. Maybe you pull in and stay there. Maybe even work your hands towards the shins or the ankles. You can wobble side to side if that rocking is working or stay steady and breathe into the sensation of stretch. The outer thighs, outer buttock area. Letting the front of the throat be relaxed. If you can, soften the shoulders. Notice if you're gripping anywhere and can you use your exhale to let go of that grip. Beautiful, and then we'll let our right leg come down and take our left ankle on top of our right knee 
And you can push away here. So encourage more length in your low back. Encourage more space. So the piriformis is in a, a slightly more shortened position in this one with this external rotation of your left thigh and then we'll gently stretch that. So take the right knee in, interlock your hands behind the back of the thigh or on top of the shin if you can reach and you can wobble a little side to side. Beautiful, let's slowly let that go and we're gonna tip the whole unit over to the right. So you might start by little rocking actions, right? Maybe let it drop all the way down to the ground and you can take your hands and encourage that top thigh away from you. So maybe you're feeling a nice tug in the left side of your waist. I like to have my chin tucked here instead of jutting up into the air. There's a bit more of a relaxing feeling when there's length to the back of my neck. <clears throat> Excuse me, and then bring it all the way up. Let that go and let the feet go as wide as you can on the mat and let the knees fall in towards each other. They might not touch, but allow them to drop in. And notice the back of your hips and your low back. There's this idea in nonviolent communication that anything you say or like say anything your body's saying to you, any expression of communication is simply a please or a thank you. So judgments are pleases, they're asks for satisfying some need. Notice here what your body's saying. Is it saying please or thank you? And how can you meet that? Thank you so much for joining me in this short practice today. For a longer practice like this, you're welcome to visit my site, which is in the notes underneath this video. Hope you have a beautiful day.